you know, Gil has been fighting an accomplished national rider for years and years. Uh, he's facing the national title again this year, and he turned 70 on June 1st. So I think it's right. We love that we're honoring him while he's still here to enjoy it. We didn't want it to be a memorial. We want to honor him while he can enjoy it. Uh, this is the first time in 30-some years that Gil has not been putting on an event. So we told him, enjoy his retirement and go do some riding. So glad you're all here for it. Um, I want to thank Kim and Brent Winland. They own this property and they do a heck of a lot of work besides just owning the property. Um, Brent does a lot of the trail cleaning and marks the course. The trail course for us helps out. So if you see them, thank them. If there's anybody that came in that Brent might have missed collecting on gate, uh, we appreciate your honesty. It's the only money he gets is what we collect at the gate. So see us after the event and we'll make sure he gets that because we want to have him let us keep coming back here. Um, along those lines, we have Gil Reed t-shirts. The first Gil Reed Classics, they're available at the concession stand for $15 each. Hope everybody will help out and get one of those. Free birthday cake tonight at 8. Anybody that's around, come over to our motorhome. There'll be birthday cake there. Tell them whose birthday it is. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy 29. Yeah, 29 again. <laughs> I'm sporting 58. It's we'll going to feel great now. tomorrow. Okay, so starting with today's trail loop. It's about three miles around, a little more. So you'll get your money's worth. It's a lot of fun, all very rideable. Hey guys, so today I am here at Wildwood Lake Raceway for four, five, six, and seven, I believe. So I'm here today by myself. Uh, Eric stayed home, he had some stuff to work on, and all of his bikes are broken. So I made the roughly four hour trek by myself, which everybody thinks seems to think that four hours is a long time, but it's really not. So, um, about a four hour drive from Northwest PA. Um, just left Tony at the beach section. She was super excited about her decorations um, and a little upset because the rain washed all the sand away. So she made do with what she had left. 
but we are, I keep saying we, I, I am on my way to the next awesome section that I've heard a lot of talk about, a lot of hype. Um, we are going, again, we, I am going to the cave section. I guess we, I'm taking you along. Um, so we are going to the cave section. Um, the owner of the Wildwood Lake Raceway property um, talked with one of the neighbors, her neighboring properties, and they allowed us to use their cave property. So I've heard a lot of hype. We're gonna go check it out. And uh, I've heard it's really dark and they had to hang some lights up so you could see. So we'll see what that looks like. But right now, again, puddle. And really dirty puddle. So I also had to buy a new pair of hiking boots because my old ones are no longer waterproof. And it makes events like, what well, makes all our events very difficult if your boots are not waterproof. We do a lot of creek crossings, so it's very helpful. But, So had to not really upgrade, but just buy a new pair of boots. Um, I'll be doing a review on them because I think they're an awesome investment, a very good choice. So I think they're an awesome investment, um, or at least the company that I buy. So. I'll be putting together a little review on what I think of these new ones that I bought and a review on the old ones, how long they lasted, what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, so look for that sometime in the future. But so far, I will say that these have definitely lived up to the advertisement of being waterproof and that's been very helpful today. I do want to point out that Tony and Gary had a great idea this year. They are adding these little signs, actually laminated, actually really thickly laminated. That's a good job, Tony. Giving the rider a little bit more heads up and a little bit more understanding of uh, some safety concerns along the way. So it's a great idea.
Okay, so just left sections one through four and realized that I have to walk up the world's worst hill. It's not that bad, but it's not awesome. Keeps going way above that. So thanks to Tony and Gary for giving me the checkers lunch. Had a rice crispy treat and some Pringles. So hopefully I'm energized enough to walk up this thing because dislocated my right knee four times. I think we're up to four. It's more than I want. But. Oh, these guys are weird. Sometimes that's a tough one to get away on. Again, thanks to the Windlands for letting us use this beautiful piece of property. Do you agree it's beautiful? Yeah. 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 I hope everybody will join us tomorrow. Youth will start an hour earlier. They're at 9.30 tomorrow, and big bikes are at 11. So just to remind everybody, it's a little earlier. Uh, another announcement, birthday cake tonight at 8 at the Roach Motorhome. And uh, the Roach Coach. And uh, <laughs> it is the Roach, not the Roach Motel, the Roach Coach. And we're going to keep concessions open until at least 7. So, you guys, if you're still hungry, grab a sandwich. Before we get started with the awards, thanks all the checkers today. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You cannot do it without them. Uh, Trailmaster, he's out changing arrows for tomorrow's Trailmaster. loop. Gary Roach, not a bad guy. We'll hear it from him. We also had additional trail masters. They shared the job with uh, Joe Clark, Smoking Joe, yeah. Fred Ellis, yeah. and fairly new to our sport and really been helping a lot, Jeremy Hardman. So, his first day ever scoring. He's been riding, but he was nervous about scoring. So. Good job. You've done a good job. Yep. As you know, we named today's event the Gil Reed Classic, first annual. We hope of many to come. I was announcing earlier that Gil is going to be turning 70 in June. He'll be in Minnesota at a national. Woo! Um, the accolades for Gil could go on and on and on from promoter. He was a mentor. I know I came to my first trials here several years ago. I had no clue what I was doing. Gil took Gary I and I aside. We met him down here, and he's helped us. Help Gary a lot. I don't know what happened to me, but <laughs> he tried. But, but Gil has just... Yeah, you can't say enough for how much he's done for our sport, and we're so glad that we got him to 
retire from putting this event on and letting us do it, but he's still here working his butt off for us. And could go on and on, but is Fred here? Yep. Why don't you come over here? We have a very special award for Gil, is what we're going to start with. At 70, still chasing national titles, and with all he's done for the sport, this is the Gil Reed Warrior Award. Gil, this is for you. Gil is a true warrior. <laughs> Kids, you don't have to ask what that is. <laughs> Made out of Ohio bamboo, right? Ohio bamboo. And an actual arrowhead on the end, which there are arrowheads down in the creek here. <laughs> So, Gil, thank you for all you've done and do for the sport. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. Well, it is a big family. Like she said real quick, Gil's been around for a long time. When I got into the sport, 2002 and 2004, I got my first Sherco Trials bike, a modern bike. I'd heard about Gil. Everybody talked about the guy from Caldwell who rode the bikes with no seats on them. So, got a hold of Gil and one of the first persons I ever rode trials with was Gil. He drove all the way down to my house, no questions asked, on a snowy day and rode trials with Gil. He's been around the sport for a long time. He's put a lot of time in. He's put a lot of people into the sport. He's helped a lot of people. So, we thought, Ben, he's put on events forever, especially this one. There's some arrowheads around. He was a true warrior, so we had to make him a, a true spear so he could take it home and have an award to keep forever. Yep. Well, on the bright side, I keep saying, well, at least it wasn't a memorial today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's why we wanted to do it, why you were here to enjoy it. So many, many years, Gil. We hope you're still here riding with us. Uh, I heard it was Spear Shepherd. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now, right now. Right now.